Oh, hi. Let's um, start our first online yoga class. And it's going to be a grounding class to help us to really settle into our seat and to soothe and calm the root chakra, the base of the spine, Muladhara chakra. So um, it occurred to me um, last week that all of this um, panic buying and fear and anxiety that was kind of part of the situation when with the coronavirus, but also kind of being whipped up by the media as well, showing pictures of empty supermarket shelves and queues of people waiting outside supermarkets and things like that. How much that was creating this um, really basic survival fear that we have when we feel like we won't be able to have enough food. Um, and I was reading about it in this chakra book. This is my favorite, um, one of my favorite chakra books, Anadea Judith, Chakras Made Easy. And in this book, she says that um, the root chakra at the base of the spine, which in Sanskrit is called the Muladhara chakra, is all about survival and um, self-preservation. And when this um, chakra is in excess, when it's kind of overly charged, then the um, characteristics are heaviness, sluggish, monotony, obesity, hoarding and materialism. And it occurred to me that this is what everybody's been doing with all this um, panic buying, is this hoarding that's been going on. Um, and really, people aren't aware that this is why there's this kind of um, need to go out and stock up the cupboards and buy more than we need, is this um, imbalance that's been felt in the root chakra. So the class I'm going to do um, today is all about grounding. So get yourself comfy, get out your mat. Um, maybe you'll need um, a yoga block or something to sit on, like a cushion, and um, we'll get started. So let's begin our first class together. Find a comfortable seat. Sit on a block or a cushion. Wiggle it into your sit bones. <clears throat> Take a breath. Palms down on the sides of the knees. Or bring your hands into the base of the belly and breathe deeply into the pelvic bowl. Nice deep inhale. Blow up your abdomen like a balloon. Imagine that breath pushing your sit bones into the ground. And if you like, you can wash away the out breath. Take your time, really long, slow inhale. Pause and then softly let the out breath be released. A few more of those. Keep a gentle engagement in the core. Keep your spine tall, shoulders soft. Deep breaths into the body. As much as you need to, sigh away that out breath. Come to stillness, find that space inside of you, that untouchable space. And in the last two weeks, have you sat completely still and just focused on your breath? Have you actually paused? and just been with your breath. Notice how magical that is when we can just allow ourselves the time and space to just breathe and settle and steady ourselves. Settle and allow the nervous system to recalibrate. Mm 
vertical. Nothing to do in this moment apart from to settle with the breath. Be with yourself in this moment. This class is going to be very focused on <clears throat> grounding, really establishing our connection with the earth beneath us so that we feel safe, we feel held, we feel supported by the beautiful Mother Earth beneath our seat. So take two more breaths here as you come into this space. As we practice together and come into this communal space where we feel where we belong. One more last deep breath. <clears throat> and as you breathe out, drop your chin to the chest. Slide the hands along the thighs, blink your eyes open. And look up. And then if you'd like to just come off your any support you've got underneath your seat and bring your hands onto the top of the knees and let's just roll into those beautiful sit bones. I love this movement. It really helps me to feel like I'm growing some lovely big tap roots into the ground. So let's get a little rhythm going here. And then let's try this with the breath. So breathe in as you come forward, open the chest. Breathe out as you come back. We then press the knees into the ground. Walk onto one sit bone, breathe out. As you transfer to the other sit bone, breathe in. And then breathe out, drop back. As you're rolling, imagine that you're just dropping some roots down. And as the roots go down to the ground, they're wrapping around rocks and interlacing with all the other roots in the ground. Our yoga community, imagine if we're all doing this together, then we're all growing roots and these roots are connecting deep in the ground, just as we're all connected here on this earth, come to centre here. And then let's go the other way, breathe in as you come. Rolling in the opposite direction, breathe out, draw back. Now, as you roll, keep your spine tall so we're not kind of collapsing into the spine, even though we're grounding into the sit bones, we're still lengthening the spine and reaching the ground out towards the sky. So, always trying to get this balance between being grounded, feeling safe, but also lifting and also recognizing that space above us, space below is very nurturing, healing, supporting the space above, uplifts us, it's creative, it's expansive, the light of the moon, the stars and the sun, where would we be without the light? But we also need the darkness, the stillness of the earth. As you make your last complete round with your breath, start to spiral in to the centre so that your circles become a little bit smaller and smaller. Mm, and then find a position where your shoulders are above your hips. And bring your right hand to the floor, left hand stays on the knee. <clears throat> Imagine that we're between two panes of glass, we're going to breathe in lengthen through the spine and breathe out, come into a side bend. And then up on an inhale, switch over, slide to the left on an exhale, up on an in breath, and over on an out breath. We keep the shoulder lifted, so we're not doing this kind of a movement, we're keeping the chest open and then moving from side to side, taking the spine into lateral flexion. Keep both sit bones on the ground and see if you can really curl the spine into a side bend. So you can go a little bit deeper with each movement. 
Look up if that helps you to keep this shoulder up. You, it's really useful to visualize two panes of glass that so you're sliding your body between two panes of glass. Last one to the left. Back up on an in breath and hands to knees. And then pull up, push the belly forwards, wriggling your body into a backward bend. Lift the chin, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a nice deep in breath here. And then tuck your tail, pull the belly button back, round the spine, tuck your chin, out breath. Breathing in, come through. Squeeze your shoulders, put the legs together. We're not flipping the head back or keeping the neck long. And then breathe out, open the shoulder blades, round the whole spine and stretch out that space between the shoulder blades. And tuck your chin to stretch the neck as well. So go on your own pace, breathing in. And rolling back, breathing out. Have a nice rhythm going with your breath. Notice as you move, where is your little tight spots? Where in your body are you feeling tension? And can you breathe it out? Can you stretch it out? And we bring harmony back into the body with slow, mindful movement and with that awareness of the breath. As you come back, you can, if you need to, anything that needs to be released, let it go with a nice long exhale. Last one. Keep going if you're still moving, finishing with a forward bend and come back to centre when you're ready. All the shoulders, see how the shoulder blades are doing. And then let's spin into a spinal rotation. So slide the left arm to the right knee. And here before we twist, we always lengthen the spine as we breathe in. And then we pull ourselves gently around as we breathe out. So we take the chin too far, we don't want to strain the neck. And let's go to the other side now, breathing into centre. And breathe out as you rotate around to the left. Breathe into centre and let's get a nice little side to side rotation going with your breath up on the inhale and rotate on the exhale. Back to centre on the inhale and rotate on the exhale. One more to the left. Great. To keep that spine tall, pull the shoulder girdle round. Next time we come to the right, let's stay here for a count of three. So soften that um, right shoulder by bending the right elbow. Your chin can stay above the breastbone or you can slate, take it slightly towards the right shoulder. Settle here, follow your breath. Let your body just find that new position. Let your muscles just adapt to that new position. And if you've done three breaths on your fourth inhale, lengthen, prepare to come back. Exhale. Close your eyes, feel the difference in the right side of your back and the left side. And then prepare to go the other way. So get yourself both sit bones on the ground and then rotate around to the left. Hold your position for a count of three. Feel your body melting into it. Adapting, changing. Always nice to close your eyes as you count the breath so that you can be very present with what's happening in your body. You know how to come up when you're ready and out breath. And then let's pick up the knees, <coughs> squeeze the knees together. After that, sitting cross legged for a little while now. And then extend the right leg and tuck your left foot in. If you need to sit on a block or a cushion at this point, please feel free to prop up your sit bones for something. Just slide underneath your sit bones if you need to. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before the side bend. So if you slide the hand down to the right, ease the right, and then slide the hand to the left and ease the left. Find that little side bend again. 
And push your right toes up towards the ceiling. Activate that right leg. If you need to prop this knee, please feel free to put something underneath that knee if, that, if it feels it needs a little bit of support. Or this knee, maybe you could squat a block under that knee if that makes it easier for this leg to stay extended. And then we're going to do a twist with the side bend. So rotate your body slightly so that your chest is in line with the left knee. This alignment here, chest to knee. Chest to knee. And then the same thing here, we're going to slide into the side bend. Exhale. Up on the in breath. Slide into the exhale, side bend with that twist. And up on the in breath. And then if you like, you can bring your top arm up, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. And then turn, look up a little bit, and over on the out breath. Let's come out to that a little bit. Really into your seat, create a bit more space in the waist. And then let's see if we can go a little bit deeper. Three breaths here. Point your toes up towards your fingertips and point the fingertips towards the toes as you hold. When you're done three breaths, come up on your next in breath. Always using that in breath to come up out of the postures. And then roll the arm down. And then let's stay in this position and do a twist from here. So slide the uh, right hand towards the left knee, left hand behind you, breathing in, lengthen, lengthen, tall, tall spine. Flex that right foot, push away from that right foot as you rotate to the left. Few breaths here. You might feel that in the inner thigh and that right leg. I'm feeling that a little bit today. Pull that. Just creating a bit of space in the groin. The inner thigh is good. And we're going to come out, breathing in, charging breath, lifting, and breathe out, release. And then let's pick up both legs. Squeeze them together, little rock. Again, you're very welcome to pad up either of the legs. You should come into the same position on the other side. So find a half straddle with this leg and then tuck the other leg in here. And again, keep your awareness on those sit bones. We're grounding down through the sit bones into the earth. And then let's start with the side bends. So Bring the left arm to the floor. Again, we're just practicing this side to side flexion so that we don't get into the habit when we do a side bend. We don't get into the habit of trying to get deeper into the side bend and then dropping the shoulder in order to go deeper. Keep a true side bend with the shoulder lifted. Keep this movement going. So we're going to add that twist in a moment. Let's keep the movement going. As much as possible, once you've got the movements going, I always like to close my eyes because then I, my awareness goes inwards and I can scan and see what's going on in my body if I've got my eyes closed. I like to really feel into what's happening with each muscle group, what's happening with each breath. Okay, next time we come up, I'm going to add a twist. So think about how my chest now is facing directly forwards. I'm going to bring my chest in line with this knee. So from the waist, I'm going to rotate here. And my chest is now in line with my knee. Chest to knee. And then I'm going to do the little side bend again, but with that twist. So over the extended leg and up again. Same movement with the shoulder girdle. We'll feel that the muscle memory knows now how to complete this movement without that little drop of the shoulder, which changes the position away from a lateral flexion. Next time you come up, let's include the right arm back on the inhale. And over on the exhale, flex this left, the left toes and foot and ankle. Point the fingertips towards the toes and the toes towards the fingertips look up. And then you might want to come up out of that game. Inhale. And drop a bit deeper. Exhale. Then you might want to come up a little bit. Inhale. Keep the chest open, keep that top shoulder lifted. And if it feels too strong with the arm, bring the arm back down and just stay in your side bend. You don't have to include the arm if you don't want to. 
Do that for an in-breath. Knees together. <clears throat> Give them a little squeeze. And then let's extend the legs to a full straddle. Toe pointed up to the ceiling. Make sure you're on the front of your sit bones. If you're on the back of your sit bones, like so, we won't be able to forward bend. But if we push into the ground here, tuck your tail behind, into the front of the sit bones, hands on the floor, then we can slowly, slowly come into a forward bend. Wriggle, wriggle here. We might need to come and warm up the inner hamstrings here. So there's the hip adductor muscles here, and then round the back, inner hamstrings. They get really tight and can feel quite tender. So give them a little rub. Warm them up, get them ready for the straddle. Gentle forward bend. So if you bring your hands to the floor here, keep those sit bones rooted to the ground. If that's a strong enough stretch, you just stay here and be here with that. Flex the feet, activate the legs. Settle here. Even a slight little tilt forward is going to increase the stretch here down the inner thighs. So hands to the floor. Think about the neck. So if you do a little tuck with your chin, so the neck is long with the rest of the spine, hold that and just hinge from those hip joints and bring your body forwards. And some walk away from you. And settle here. If you can get your elbows down towards the floor, then you can settle a little bit deeper. Take a breath here. You can lift up out of it if you like, and really just see a little bit more, and then draw up a bit down if you feel like you need to fidget your way into it. Once you're into it, and you can settle for three breaths. Stay here, count the breaths. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm breathing out. Two, I'm breathing in, breathing in. Two, I'm breathing out, breathing out. Your hands there. Cat, what are you doing? This is Cinnamon, everybody. She likes to join in our yoga classes on a regular basis. And let's come up when you're ready, back to seated. And just see how that feels as you come back to seated. Feel if you feel if you can feel into release here in the inner thigh muscles. And then bring your knees together. <clears throat> and then we'll shake out. <clears throat> and then let's do another um, stretching for the inner thighs and the hip joints. So soles of the feet together, have a little rock here from side to side. So cobbler pose can either be done with your hands here on the shins, near the ankles, or if you can reach the, around the toes, this is a nice place to get a good grip here for cobbler pose. Great hip opening posture. Let's um, keep the spine really tall, chin tuck so that the neck is long. Always be aware if you have a tendency to lift your chin that you kind of constantly um, realign your neck with the rest of the spine. And as we breathe in, we lengthen the lift. And as we breathe out, we allow the knees to drop towards the floor. And there's a little bit of um, tension here between this in this posture as you pull on the toes and you lift the shoulders away from the ground. Somehow the knees drop towards the floor and you get that stretch. It seems to happen all by itself, which is just nice. If you really need to push the knees towards the floor, they'll go there all by themselves. One more in breath. One more out breath. And then let's come into a crossbow position from there. And again here, we're just going to do shoulders and neck now. So if you'd like to sit on your block, it's a good time to just come back onto that block because it's quite hard to sit um, for a long time without that little lift through the, through the hips. 
So let's think about the shoulders. So when we're a little bit stressed, anxious, and tense, and um, we can really transfer that into the shoulders, especially these upper trapezius muscles here, the ones that get really tight here by the neck and it's the shoulders. And that can transfer up the neck and neck and cause tension headaches here or at the back of the um, base of the occiput here. So let's just ease that out now with one of my favourite postures, the honey monster pose. Squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears as you inhale. Purse the lips as if you're going through a straw and the shoulders soften away from the neck. Breathing in, lift, squeeze, breathing out. Drop the whole way to fully into the ground. Breathing in, lengthen and lift. Breathing out, soften and just push those shoulders as far down as they'll go and then breathe in, lift and squeeze. Breathe out, and then bring your hands to the right shoulder and give it a few little rolls. Again, as if you're massaging that upper trapezius muscle there at the base of the neck. Get a little massage. <clears throat> Four times one way, and then roll the opposite way. Always nice to do things in both directions, so we're moving the muscles in different directions. And then relax that shoulder down and close your eyes. And just that simple movement, see how that's freed off that shoulder a little bit and lets you the other side. Nice to have a little pause between postures so you can really feel the benefits of each movement. And then you can remember them if you're sitting in a traffic jam, if you've been sat at your computer for a couple of hours and you need to have a little break. Simple, simple movements to remember that you can do. If we do them often enough in class, then they'll pop into your mind, hopefully, when you need them. And then relax that shoulder. Close your eyes, see how that feels. And if you need to do both together, then roll both shoulders together. Backstroke and front crawl. And come back to centre. Okay. Let's just work the shoulder, not shoulders, the neck a little bit. So my favorite neck movement, I think, is the um, side stretch. So gauge your core here. This supports the spine. When the spine is tall, the shoulders can relax. So then as we slowly drop the head to the right, the shoulders stay completely still. And we target from the ear all the way down to the top of the shoulder with this stretch. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder, keeping the shoulders really still. And this side is always tighter for me, so notice how it feels for you. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop over. Inhale, one more to each side. Exhale. Relax the head over, keep the core gently switched on. Inhale, come on. We're trying to isolate the neck muscles so everything else stays still. And back up to centre. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, chin down towards the chest and tuck it into the throat. Inhale, come all the way up. Don't flip the head back, keep it long as you stretch the neck up. And then exhale, tuck your chin into the throat. Inhale, reach up. Keep the neck long, open the throat. Exhale, come forwards and drop the chin towards the hollow at the base of the throat. One more up, one inhale. And then just come back to neutral as you exhale. Last movement, inhale, look to centre. Exhale, rotate to the right. Gentle squeeze up, don't push too hard. Inhale to centre. Exhale, rotate to the left. Press more to each side. Slowly you can move with, the, with your breath. 
slowly you'll find the whole thing just starts to come together very mindfully. Breath and body moving together as well. Like a little dance. Settle to the center and then take a couple of moments to see how the whole body feels. And if you feel like you need to do anything else, if you feel like you need to wriggle into the shoulders a bit more, if you need to do any more neck movements, scan your body for tension. We're gonna lie down in a minute and do some hip openers, but before we do that, let's give ourselves a nice big hug. Arms out wide to the side, breathing in. Wrap the arms around, breathing out, squeeze the shoulders together. Breathing in open wide. Because in the restrictions, coronavirus, this kind of social um, contact that is um, not allowed at the moment, we're really not hugging anybody. So if no one's giving you a hug today, give yourself a nice big hug. My little rock is always nice. Breathing wide, breathing in. And close the arms, breathing out. And then please look at the rock. Squeeze. And then we're gonna lie down. If you've got, a, if you've got some water, please have a sip of water. Move your block out of the way. And then we're going to spin ourselves round and come onto your backs. And if you need to support your head at this point, please bring your uh, cushion underneath your head. So as you roll yourself down, head on the ground, pick up the knees, have a little rock from side to side. And if you find T that it's that your chin naturally lifts up like so then please just put a block or a cushion underneath your head so that your neck can relax. So let's just really take a bit of time to anchor the spine into the earth. From the sacrum all the way along the back, rock here and really let your body just connect with the ground. Stretch your legs up. Let's give the hamstrings a little rub. And the side of the body, this IT band that often gets quite tight and tender, quads. And if you need to give the calf muscles a little rub on the shins. And then shake out the legs. We've been sat a little bit cross-legged and things, so just shake out the legs a little bit. Loosen off the ankles. Hmm. Little kick, heels down towards the thighs. And then let's think about the hip joints now. So as you bring your hands up, one hand around each knee, squeeze the knees up towards your chest. Slide them wide towards each shoulder, away from each other to stretch into the groin and the inner thigh. Tugging a little bit here to get the stretch. And then as your knees come together, the back might lift here off the floor. So tuck your tail up, press your belly down, keep that lower back anchored to the ground. So as your knees go around, you don't use that connection with your back on the floor. We don't want to strain those lower back muscles doing this movement. We want to use the core. We want to use all the muscles around the hip joints. So get a nice rhythm going here. If you've been sitting a lot, if you've been haven't been very um, active, you might find that these hip joints feel really tight. So a few of these gets everything moving. Visualize that you're drawing hydration into the joints massaging the cartilage, getting everything moving beautifully through the um, through those joints. Keeping the muscles from the hips nicely toned as well as we go in both directions. And then when you next time your knees come up towards your chin. 
Press your ankles this time. See if you can hook your elbows around each knee. A little lock here. And then settle into the centre. Check that the chin hasn't lifted up like so. Keep that back of the neck nice and long. Let's settle here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in. Breathe out. Squeeze the knees in. Breathe in. Soften. Breathe out. Squeeze. Breathe in. Soften. Breathe out. Squeeze. Last one. Push your ankles the other way. And let's take three breaths here. Breathing in, release a little bit. Breathe out, squeeze. Breathe in, soften that grip. And then breathe out, squeeze. Last one. Knees together. Cross the right leg over the left. And see if you can hold on to the left chin or the left thigh. If you can't reach those, just wrap your hands around that right knee. So wherever you can hold on to is fine. And let's just stretch into that right hip now. Relax both feet for a moment. Breathe in. Shoulders relax, chin relax, jaw relax. Use the arm muscles to tug the right knee towards the chest. Soften again on the inhale. Squeeze on the exhale. Soften the inhale. Squeeze on the exhale. Last one, soften, last squeeze. Flex the right foot, relax the right foot. Flex the right foot, and relax. Relax, and relax. Let's swap sides, switch over. Sometimes this side is tight, so for me on the other side, just notice if that's the same for you. Wherever you can hold this fine, get yourself comfortable, tuck the chin. Arms are doing the work here. So we're away from the body on the inhale and then we're squeezing towards the body on the exhale. Away from the body, breathing in. Breathing out. And we should be feeling the stretch right in here, right deep into the hip joint where the piriformis muscle keeps the um, top of the leg secure in the hip socket. Really important muscle, but it does tend to get really, really tight. And the next time we come here, let's just work the um, ankle a little bit. So if you flex the foot, you might feel that that movement of the ankle really accentuates the stretch here in the hip. Relax the foot. Let's see which one you prefer. See which one gets the deepest stretch. Is it better for you with the foot relaxed or is it better for you with that foot flexed? And last time we do this, we're going to release. So soften the left foot, next time you breathe out, and then bring the knees back together. Little squeeze, little rock, legs up if you like. You can just shake out and then drop the feet to the floor. And let's do a little twist here. So we did a seated twist leading with the shoulder girdle. So let's see if we can do a twist now leading with the pelvis. Same rules apply here for the lower back. We want to keep the lower back anchored down. So a little bit of pressure of the belly onto the, towards the floor. Knees rock one way. Up on the in breath and let them drop the other way on the out breath. You can keep your hands on your ribs. You can roll your arms out to the side. Up on the inhale. Drop the knees the other way on the exhale. Feel how the twist moves from the base of the spine upwards. Whereas when we were in the seated twist, um, the twist moved down the spine. You can include your head in this movement now. So as you breathe out, the head goes the opposite way to the knees. Breathe into center, keep your feet on the ground and roll the head the opposite way. And once you've got the rhythm, close your eyes and let your body move with your whole awareness on all the sensations that are going on inside the body. Let the legs drop a little bit closer towards the floor, depending on the hips, lower back, not straining at all, always just moving within your range of comfort, getting a good stretch but not going past any 
point of strain or into any sort of pain. Always being very aware of that as you move. So now let's settle into a twist for a few breaths. So come to centre and swing your hips over to the left. So give them a little swing and then drop the knees to the right and roll your head to the left. Keep this left shoulder on the ground. The left shoulder starts to lift, then adjust this top leg to come a little bit for out of the twist. We don't want to bring any strain here when we rotate the pelvis here. You notice how that spine gets a lovely little twist here. Close your eyes. Stack the knees, stack the ankles, and if you need to adjust that top leg, please do so. And then sat in here. And you sleep in breath and then long, slow out breath. Shoulder girdle can be so heavy in the ground. Two more breaths and notice how you do this, how this twisting movement through the spine really settles and calms and soothes the nervous system. Just feel that, how oh, it's so calming when we settle into these deep twists. Great movements to do before you go to bed as well. Line twist. Up on your next inhale, lift those knees back to centre. Now you're out of alignment, so put your hips back in the middle. And then swing your hips way over to the right. So shift them over to the right and then let the knees stack and drop to the left. And then from here, roll your head as much as you can to the right. No strain in the neck. And again, keep that right shoulder on the ground. And come to your breath, breathing in. And then let that out breath be nice and long and slow. Hmm. Let the body come to stillness and focus on really lengthening the out breath. So as the out breath really slides away slowly, the body just melts into the pull. And into the Deep rotation for the spine. Last nice deep long inhale and long slow exhale. Next in breath, gently engage the core, lift those knees up. Bring your arms in, shift your hips to the middle. Find your nice, you can lift your head up if you need to, to align yourself. And then if you need to just pick up those knees, little walk from side to side, it's always nice. And then gentle bridge pose. So hands are here by your hips. Wiggle yourself into the ground. Pick up your tailbone. Tilting the pelvis, see the belly pushes down, tailbone lifts up, pelvis starts to tilt, press into the feet, push the knees forward, squeeze the glutes and start to lift the hips up. Shift your weight onto the ribs, roll yourself back down. So with the breath now, we breathe in, breathe in, breathe in as we lift. Shifting the weight as far as Lift the hips as high as they want to go, it doesn't really matter where you go to. Breathing out, come down. So just use the first few movements just to explore this movement through the spine. Not pushing up into the full posture just yet, just finding a little rock and roll of the spine. As you lift up and down, can you pick each vertebra up off the mat one by one by one? 
And as you roll down, can you lower and plant each vertebra into the ground one by one by one by one? Then bridge pose is a fantastic posture for easing out, leveling out any little tight spots you've got in your spine. So if, for example, right here in the middle is a bit, feels a bit um, tight, you can just go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, massaging your spine into the ground. Now you have a little play with that. Let's come up into a hold. So press into your feet, squeeze the glutes, engage the quads, push the knees forwards over the ankles, don't let them splay out to the sides. Push up a little bit higher and a little bit higher. And here you can hold hands down, you can interlace your hands underneath if you like, push into the elbows and lift into a bridge pose here. Nice deep in breath. Ground through the feet, ground through the shoulders. Neck should be free, no pressure in the neck and the throat. When you're ready, one more inhale. Bang, clasp the hands, and then as you exhale, really slowly land the spine into the ground, one breath at a time. And then when you get to the bottom, you can pick up the knees once again with a rock from side to side. So from this position on our back, we're going to roll over onto our sides and then come onto um, the mat into child's pose. So if you'd like to roll over to one side, push yourself up, come to the back of the mat. Cinnamon's joining us for the class. <laughs> and then come to kneeling, walk your hands along the mat. Take your forehead down towards the floor and just have a lovely stretch out here. And then push forwards onto the elbows, take your knees hip width apart. And let's just roll through cat and cow here on the elbows. I love this modified version of the cat. It's so nice because it means you can get a gentle inversion through the spine and you don't have the pressure through the elbows as well. So if you point your index fingers towards the cat, we look at the tips of the index fingers as we drop the belly and hollow the spine into a back bend. And this is an inhale. And then tuck the tail and round the spine as you breathe out. Press down through the feet, knees, the elbows, arching the spine, flexion. And then inhale as you lift the tailbone, drop the belly, roll the spine into your extension. So get a few rounds going in your own time, getting that lovely snake-like movement going through the spine. And just get that round in here as we breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, tail tucks, chin tucks, stretch, and then lengthen. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Another round. And the next time we arch the spine up, we're going to make that our last one. And then come to a neutral position with the spine from the tailbone to the top of the neck spine, nice and straight. From here, we can do a little twist. So I'd like you to pick up your right elbow and slide it past the left elbow and tuck your shoulder underneath you and move your left elbow out of the way as you drop down and push that um, left shoulder up or you can relax the left elbow the left elbow on the floor just finding a little rotation here weight should be through the shoulder and not through the head no pressure on the head or the neck stay there for a couple of breaths On your next inhale, push yourself back up to this neutral position. And then the left elbow comes up, we slide the hand past the right elbow. Keep sliding it so that we create a rotation for the spine and drop down onto the left shoulder. So here you can adjust your right arm here, quite relaxing. 
Here we can lift and push the shoulder back to create a stronger rotation through the back of the Calm down, engage your core, push up on the inhale and back onto the elbows. You can do that once more to each side if you like, or you can come back and do another few rounds of the cat and cow movement, flexing and extending the spine, so whichever of those feels right for you. And if you like, you can add in an inversion here, tucking your toes, lifting your hips up into dolphin, modified version of dog. Toes come towards you a little bit. Make sure your feet are hip width apart, soft knees. Have a little wriggle here, and then head is just hanging between the upper arms, no strain in the neck. Push your tailbone up towards the sky, and just settle here for three breaths. Come down into child if you need to. If this is quite strong for the blood pressure, sends all the blood into the head. So if that feels uncomfortable, please drop out of the posture. Into the knees and into child. And if you like in that inversion, stay a little bit longer until you're ready to come. Knees down. Quite nice here to bring the hands into two soft fists under the forehead. I, I call this a supported child so that the head um, can come level with the heart so that the blood can flow into the heart um, from the head, releasing that pressure in the head, bringing the blood pressure back to a normal level. And then pushing the hands, take the knees a little bit wider. Walk your hands forward, have a little rock here. We're going to try and get the body right down between the knees. So ease into that nice hip opening movement. Tuck the chin, forehead to the floor. And here you can bring your hands into prayer position, bend the elbows, bring the hands above the back of the head, pointing up. Adjust your elbows if you need to. We're working the chest towards the floor. And let's take a few nice deep breaths here. Really open up the side ribs as you breathe in. And you can sigh away the out breath if that feels good. And then from here, drop your hands back to the mat. We lift your gaze. Let's end our practice with crocodile posture. And lying on the belly is very grounding, really settles the emotions. So I'm going to work on the cat here. See if you can take your feet a little bit wider than your mat, then roll the toes outwards so that you're resting on the inner ankles. And then crocodile can be done by either making a pillow here the forehead. Well, I quite like to take the arms wide, turn the head to one side, and rest here on the ground. You need to try to get your armpits as close to the floor as possible. Make as much contact with your body on the ground, front body. Wriggle into it if you need to. Nice, deep in here into the belly, and then. Let the whole body melt into the floor. Close your eyes. So crocodile posture draws the breath into the belly. It encourages the breath to go right down into the pelvic bowl. And the pressure of the, of the navel on the ground gives you lower back for the massage really grounds you through that connection of your navel onto the earth. Make the breath long and deep. Feel the body rising and falling away from the ground with every breath.
and then slide the breath into the chest. And as you bring the breath here, you feel that the breastbone makes contact with the ground and the back ribs open and create space in the back ribs. Feel that connection of your heart with the earth beneath you. See if you can feel your heartbeat coming into rhythm with the heartbeat of the earth beneath you. Feel as if you're hugging the very curvature of the earth as your body melts deeper and deeper into the ground. And when you're ready to come out of that posture, come up into a child's pose. So when you feel like you need to come up, take three more breaths. and then walk your feet towards each other. Slide the hands next to the ribs. And push yourself up into a child pose. And if you need to give your back a little rub, just bring the hands onto the back and just massage around the sacrum and the lower back. Hands to the feet is nice. Touch the hands to the feet. Curl yourself into a little ball. I'm safe and grounded, connected to the earth. Feel like a little seed nestled in the earth, waiting for the spring. And then like a beautiful fern, uncurl your spine upwards. Keep your chin on your chest, bring your hands to your knees and uncurl that spine. Slowly, slowly, come up, come up, like a fern uncurling into the sunlight. Bring your hands to the heart. Deep breath. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Take care.